Why beautiful women are a man's weakness. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, which means the ones observing said beauty get to decide what and if this is beautiful. Or to say beauty does not exist on its own, but when attention and validation is given to it by observers, only then the beauty exists. Similar to the saying, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Which is a philosophical thought experiment that raises questions regarding observation and perception. So what is the perception of beauty based on our observations as men? What do you find beautiful physically in a woman? No, I do not want to hear about the cute quirky thing she does or how you find some women make you feel manly. No. Comment as to what physically you find attractive or beautiful in a woman. Be it her lips, legs, thighs, butt, breast, neck, hair and feet for some, from head to toe? Or is it the grand mixture of all these things morphed into the amalgamation we call a beautiful woman? So my point is, why are we so weak to a beautiful woman? the tempest and the temptress, the storm of a beautiful woman. It is said that we are visual creatures as men, how we subconsciously seek out women with childbearing hips that can bear and birth our offspring. But consciously, we're thinking about what we want to do to those hips, caress, and for some, savage those hips. Because even men that avoid women completely replace them with visual alternatives, be it a digital or silicone one, and in the future a combination of both, maybe. We could be the toughest and hardest of men, but put a woman in front of us that we find beautiful, or hot, or stunning, and many of us would either become bumbling idiots, or be in thirsty pursuit of those hips. Indeed. But you see, that is the weakness, the reaction, the instant attention and the hook that comes with a beautiful woman. Whether you are weakened in nervous fear or a hunter's desire, it's the fact that she can still move you in such a way. The wandered lusting thoughts of the many ways you would, or the admiration of something so stunning to behold. See, this is why many of us as men will continue to fall to the draw and the pull of such a creature. Many of us know about the hot crazy chick, or the woman you can't stand but you want to make her say your name as she's in the throes in the getting of what you want to give her. The weakness is built into the sense of survival in human beings. How we continue to survive through procreation, to keep humanity going. To that end, we as men will always be bombarded with the rays of a beautiful woman and with the internet that is at our fingertips. And being that we are such visual creatures, it's instant access to feed that need. But at the same time, with the give and take of the world, the in and out, because where we as men can feed that need and pursuit, we're continuing to give the attention. Attention that many women feed off and make money off. The attention we have as men to fill that visual need. When you learn to understand the admiration but to not be weak to it, to not be a fool to it, the blinking big eyes, the stroking of hair, the curves that promote visions of desire and lust, when you understand it, but you learn not to be weak to it, is when you behold that beauty with more questionable eyes. As yes, she's hot, but what comes with that fire? What sort of baggage does or would this hot chick have? Is she in debt? Is she crazy? Does she have many suitors or thirsty orbiting men in her friend zone? Does she have a personality being that she never had a need to develop one? Does she have issues because of her being so good looking? That she has had countless many encounters with various men and women, all bidding for her time and body. And in that she becomes even more self-entitled and obnoxious. She becomes toxic and savage because she assumes she is better than most. That she's so stunning that you would feel blessed to even smell her expensive perfume. That you are lucky that she even exists so you can appreciate her for just being. Yes, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Being that we as men are the visual creatures, giving power and sight to that beauty, fueling the egos of women worldwide, watched with lustful eyes that need to see more. But to overlook the fact that for however hot she is, she is still human. 
She takes craps just like you, and some have monstrous bowel movements. She still breaks wind and sniffs it not just because she enjoys the smell of her own gas, but also to see how bad it smells. And just because she's hot does not mean she does not have poor hygiene, disgusting habits, and an awful personality. The moment you learn to see beautiful women as just women, no better than the less attractive ones, is the moment you learn to retake some of the power you give them. Tis the moment you understand them more and see that they only have the power given to them by the many eyes that have been holden to them. Thus, always remember and never forget. Of course we as men are visual creatures, not only for the beauty we are able to admire, but for the beauty we can then bring forth. For the amazing things we as men build and construct, the amazing pieces of art and music, the books, the plays, the video games, movies and so on. The sheer brilliance of what we have absorbed to then put back into the world for others to enjoy. How we as men have this understanding of the visual that goes beyond mere light and shadow. And yes, it is our passion for the visual that can be the weakness for many of us. Especially when that passion is wrapped in the skin of a beautiful woman. Behold more and see through what you are most blind to. Only then can a pretty face remind you of how strong you are instead of how weak you are. With your eyes, see more. Look deeper. The speed of light is faster than a split second. But before that light has even hit you, you already knew it could not blind you. You see it coming. For you focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.